Oh yeah, so check you out. You're a big bad truck driver now. You got your CDL. You're gonna be the top driver. You're gonna become a baller now. You're gonna be six figure jack now. No one can tell you nothing. You called your mom. Hey, hey mom, look, I'm a big bad truck driver now. Well, yeah, look at me. I got one of them CB radios now because I'm a real truck driver. Yeah. <laughs> ready to go out there and make all this money you're gonna provide for your family you're gonna be the big guy you're the big bad truck driver oh yeah i'm a big bad truck driver yeah oh, yeah everyone's real proud of jack he's a truck driver now hey yeah yeah all right let's talk about how to ruin it the number one way how to ruin your trucking career is by job hopping way too early especially when you just got your cdl a lot of people go to these mega carriers or a trucking school or wherever and once they get their cdl oh man i'm god now yeah i could get a job anywhere which isn't true which is not true a lot of companies will not hire you without experience a lot of drivers will start working for a company they won't like the pay and then they'll go from this company to that company they'll pretty much bounce around a lot of the mega carriers and the problem with that is a good company that will hire you once you get the experience won't want to hire you if they see that your first two years have been with four or five different carriers. They're not going to want nothing to do with you because they're going to look at you like you're someone who doesn't take it serious. Those jobs that pay a hundred plus, a hundred grand plus, right? Oil, Walmart, private fleet, whatever it is, right? They do not want to hire someone who they think is going to jump ship at the first sign of whatever, at the first thing that they don't like. Because a lot of these trucking companies know that a lot of these truck drivers out here think that they're the king, they're the king of the highway, right? They're the big bad truck driver and you know, oh, I'm God, everyone wants to hire me. They are aware that a lot of drivers think like that. So a lot of drivers jump ship. If a trucking company that pays really good sees that you are the type of driver to jump ship like that, they're not gonna wanna hire you. They're not gonna wanna invest in you because they think that you're gonna do the same thing to them. But if you were that driver that stood at that mega carrier for two to three years, oh yeah. Oh, and especially if you have a clean driving record with no accidents, they're gonna hire you like that. And it's gonna make the transition into those high paying jobs easy. It's gonna make it a walk in the park. What you have to remember is as a new driver, is you're just that you're a new driver you're pretty much an apprentice you're learning you're not worth that much money you're not worth that much money a lot of people have cdls out there and a lot of people don't do nothing with them or ruin their careers a lot of people they'll start at a mega carrier and they're like oh man i heard they don't pay that much and then they'll jump ship they'll go here there here there and some people get lucky some people get lucky and land a really good job right out of trucking school but that's not that's not going to be the majority and that's most likely not going to be your case it's just it's just not so stick with it stick with it get your two years at a mega carrier then go job shopping and here's the thing about job shopping make your next move your best move that's what you have to live by as a truck driver you need to be going up the economic scale you need to be going up in salary it doesn't make sense to go from this reefer company to this reefer company and they're both paying cents per mile about the same thing. That doesn't make sense. What makes sense is to start at a mega carrier for two to three years and then go to Walmart private fleet or go to the oil fields, go to a tanker company. That's what makes sense because you're getting a significant raise in pay. And like I said, you will make a lot of money at these mega carriers if you put the work in. And I made a video about that, which I'll leave the link in the description. But these other trucking companies like oil and private fleets, they pay a lot of money for half of the work, honestly. And in order to be eligible, in order for those companies to take you serious, don't job hop. Do not job hop. That's the worst thing you could do as a truck driver. That's one of the easiest ways to ruin your career. A lot of people won't get into accidents. A lot of people won't have anything on their driving record, but a lot of people job hop. That's why that's the number one way to ruin your career. A lot of people don't think about that. The other way to ruin your career is to get fired from a company for a safety reason, speeding, moving violations, getting fired for violating the company safety policy. If you get fired from a carrier and they put on your DAC report that you got fired for a safety reason, good luck finding a job. 
good luck finding a job. It, it's 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 over at that point. Okay, if you get fired for anything that has to do with safety, your career is done. At that point, you need to go look for work elsewhere outside of trucking because you just ruined your career, right? When you're a truck driver, you're gonna see a lot of people on the highway speeding. And a lot of people get their CDLs by hook or crook, one way or another. Some get them through family ties, some get them through mega carriers. But those people that you see out there on the road speeding, that's the revolving door. Truck driving has this revolving door, people coming and going, coming and going. And most of that are people that get fired. If you get stopped by a police officer in a semi truck and you get a speeding ticket, you could bet that your company is gonna fire you once they find out that you got a speeding ticket. You have to report it to them. Their insurance is gonna go up and they're not gonna let you do that to them. They're gonna fire you. And once you get fired from a trucking company, especially if you're living in the truck. Hey guys, looks like your free ride's over, huh? Have fun living on the streets. Okay, cool, good chatting you guys. So that's the number two way to ruin your trucking career, is getting fired over something that has to do with safety. A safety violation, forget about it. Forget about it. It's done, it's over. You ruined your career. It's over, it's done. See ya. Another good way to ruin your career is to ruin your DAC report is to always get into fights with management, get into a fight with your DM, get into a fight with your dispatchers, just be a person who's not pleasant to work with. All of that goes on your DAC report. And your DAC report is your resume outside of your resume. These trucking companies, they look to see the DAC reports of the drivers that they're potentially gonna hire. And if you have a bad DAC report, all you're doing is closing doors. That, that's all you're doing. If you're with a company that is so bad to you, yeah, okay, try to find another job. But like I said, make your next move your best move, the best move that you could possibly go to and stay there, stay there. Do not job hop, like I just said. If your DM and your your company puts down on your DAC report that you were unruly, you were not pleasant to work with, you were very unprofessional, you were getting into arguments with all the customers that you worked with, you pretty much ruined your trucking career right there. A lot of people are not gonna wanna hire you. I can guarantee you that Walmart Private Fleet wouldn't hire someone with a bad DAC report because they have a laundry list of drivers to choose from. Why would they choose someone that's gonna be a bad representation of their company, of their fleet? Good luck. Another good way to ruin your trucking career has to do with the first reason, with job hopping. Job abandonment, just quitting on the site like that. If you go through YouTube, You'll see a lot of truckers who talk oh, about, yeah, I quit CR England. I gave them the truck back and I just walked. I left the load right there. I just walked off because I'm a truck driver. I got my CDL. I can go work wherever I want. I don't need to work for Swift or CR England. I left their truck right there. I called my DM and told him, come pick it up. The keys are right there. Yeah. If that goes on your DAC report, you pretty much ruined your trucking career. Good luck getting a job anywhere honestly. And if you do get a job, it's probably not going to be the best job. You're not going to be able to make your next move your best move. If you have job abandonment and property abandonment, asset abandonment on your DAC report. That right there is a great way to ruin your trucking career is to just completely ruining it by walking off of the job. I've seen so many people on YouTube talk about, I heard something about the pay. So I called my DM and he didn't want to talk about it. So I left the keys right there in the truck and I got back in my car and I went home. <laughs> Some of these truck drivers, they must have a lot of money stashed away to be able to walk off of a job like that. And not to mention that's gonna go on their DAC report. And if you follow a lot of these YouTubers, you see that they end up working for crappy companies after that because that's all that they can get. There's this one YouTuber specifically who I'm thinking about who got a job, I think at JB Hunt or something, and it was in a different location. He didn't like what the pay was. He called his DM. They didn't want to talk about it. And then he just walked off of the job. And then he made another video talking about how he couldn't find a job after that. Duh. And then the job that he ended up getting 
was some shady small company that was cooking up the books on his clock and making him run like 16, 18 hours a day. You see what happened to him? Hey! See what I mean? That's a good way to ruin your trucking career is walking off of the job. You're closing doors. Then the only job that you're probably able to get after that is with a shady company that you shouldn't be working for in the first place that'll probably get you in trouble with the DOT. Do not do job abandonment. Do not walk off of the job. Be professional. Look, your CDL, this thing right here, that's your company. That's your stock price. That's you. And every truck driver is different. There are some truck drivers that are professional and there's some truck drivers that are not professional. They're just not. The ones that job hop, the ones that speed all the time, the ones that abandon their job, the ones that are unprofessional and they don't get along with their dispatchers or their DM or their fellow drivers, their coworkers. Those people don't last in this game. Those people do not last. And they might have dreams to do this and that and their CDL is a ticket to the good life. Yeah, okay. So that's how you effectively ruin your trucking career. I advise you not to do that, but hey, if you're gonna ruin your trucking career, you might as well go hard or go home, baby. Ruin your trucking career, speed, get into an accident, cuss out your manager, walk off the job. Hey, hey, and if you're gonna do that, before you walk off the job, you might as well be like a G. Go to 7-Eleven, get a Slurpee, take the top off of it, right in your manager's face before you walk off the job. You know, if you're gonna ruin your trucking career, do it with class, you know what I mean? I'm obviously just joking. Do not ruin your trucking career. You did not come this far to just ruin it like that. But as you go on in your trucking career, you'll run into a lot of drivers who do ruin their trucking career. You'll run into a lot of drivers, especially at big companies that talk about, oh, I don't care about this job. I don't care if I get fired. Yeah, if that's the case, why are they at work, right? Because if they have money like that, they would just be at home. They'd be at home making a sandwich and you know, doing whatever they want to do all day. They wouldn't be at work, right? Look, men have a lot of pride and a lot of ego. And I say men because men are the majority of truck drivers. It just is what it is. And you're going to run into a lot of unprofessional people in this game, in this line of work, all right? Recognize it. You could even laugh about it on your own. Do not be that driver. Do not. You're a professional. Be a professional. If you want to make money in this game, you have to be professional. You cannot ruin your trucking career. With that being said, smash the like button on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video with the other truck drivers out there or anyone who's looking to get into this line of work. And this is how you effectively ruin your trucking career. Don't do it. Y'all have a good night.